Welcome back to Building Arkansas Lacrosse. In a previous skill builder video, we looked at catching the ball loaded from a stick placement standpoint. Now we're gonna look at how we want our shoulders positioned as the ball is on the way. In this man up clip, the ball is being transferred from GLE up to the low wing on the 10 yard line right by the hash mark. So the first thing that we're gonna notice is we're giving up a hands-free shot to feed the crease to a person that's covered by three defensemen and he has his back turned towards the goal. So even if he does catch it, there's not much he can do with it. So you're asking someone to make a more difficult play than just letting one go from about 10 yards hands-free. That's the shot that we want to take. And geometry was not a strong suit. So just looking at it again, that might even be closer to seven yards. Okay, as the ball is being fed from GLE up to the wing, the player on the wing has his shoulders pointed directly at his teammate. We want his shoulders to be pointed at the net, so as he's catching into the pass, as he's stepping into the pass, he can shoot the ball right away. We discussed moving towards the net in the previous skill builder video. In this case, because the shoulders are pointed at the teammate at GLE, that shooter has to turn his body again. That adds time for the defense to recover. It adds time for the goalie to track the ball. You can see both shoulders are pointing towards the end line as we're catching the ball. We're turning back, again, adding time. We want to have our shoulders pointed already at the net before the pass is in the air. So I'm stepping into the pass and I'm getting the shot out right away. Part of having a quick release isn't necessarily just your hands and arms moving fast. It's also having your feet and shoulders pointed in the right direction from the start. Okay, now we're going to look at a clip from the Duke Air Force game from this weekend. It's the same play where the ball is being transferred from X up top to the wing. You can see when we slow it down here, the shooter has his left shoulders already pointed at the net. Just like in the previous video, he's moving towards the pass and he's able to get that shot off within two steps of catching the ball. Because we want to be moving towards the pass, you might start a step or two wider or higher then you wanna be where you shoot the ball. That'll give you that room to move into the pass to catch and shoot. The only thing that you might be able to critique here is his front shoulder drops. That sort of tips his hand as to where he's gonna shoot the ball. You know, Obviously, as a D1 midi at Duke, you can shoot a little bit harder than a high school player, but that is something to keep in mind. Here's another look at a different shot from the Syracuse game this weekend. Again, you can see 77 is moving towards the net as the ball is on the way, and his right shoulder, that lead shoulder, is pointed towards the net. He's able to catch the ball and quickly get it on net. 